everybody, welcome to the Jamie Thomas with Click the Mouse show. My name is Brad, Jamie's not here with me today. I just wanted to do two quick things, give you an update on what's going on with the channel. And second, I wanted to talk about what kind of collections you have uh, when you go to the parks regarding Disney World. And I wanted to show you what our family collection is every time we go to the parks. So first, really quick update on the channel. Why is Jamie not here? We're taking a little bit of a hiatus this week on the episode, uh, our regular stuff, you know, where we come in and we talk about different tips and hints for how to make the most of your next Disney vacation um, because we just received word, actually, that our hard drive, our external drive that was damaged, uh, it looks like we're getting all of the content back from it. We just got word uh, from the computer guys today, and so I've been slowly sifting through that content and getting ready to release some of our vacation footage and some reviews from when we were actually at the parks a few weeks ago. So we're kind of in a mode of getting all of that ready for you guys. The second thing I wanted to talk about really quickly today was collections from the park. I don't know about you guys, but every time Jamie and myself and the kids go to Disney World or go on a cruise or go to any kind of Disney vacation, we're kind of building collections of different things. And uh, for us, one of those things is Disney art. So two years ago, we went on a Disney cruise. We had never been cruising, didn't know what to expect. It was a seven-night Bahama cruise out of, uh, it was out of Southern Texas. I can't totally remember the name, but it was on the Wonder before it went uh, underwent all of its new refurbishments. We had an absolutely fantastic time. While we were on the boat, we uh, were wandering down one particular hallway, and there's a whole bunch of Disney art. Uh, on the on the walls and and we found one piece that we fell in love with and this is it it's the uh sorcerer mickey uh painting it's done by darren wilson we absolutely loved it it felt so classic disney to us we we had to get it um looking back i kind of wish we had gotten something that was a little more exclusive to the boats um something that was a little more cruise oriented but it was kind of our first our first piece of art and ever since then we decided every time we go to the Disney parks we're gonna get ourselves a piece of art to kind of just remember the trip so our second piece of art is actually when we went to Disney World a year ago uh, we looked through the art of Disney at uh, Disney Springs we looked in the art store in Magic Kingdom and at Epcot and we kept on seeing different things we liked but certain things were out of our price range and we weren't really sure what we want until we actually went to the little digital booklets that they have inside the art of Disney Disney, and we started flipping through different things that you can have made into a painting and putting on, on a canvas and we just kind of fell in love with this and now it looks really weird uh, I'll do a better close-up of it but what it is is uh, uh, one of the original kind of drawings of what the Magic Kingdom was going to look like they actually don't know who it was that penned this uh, but it's in the Disney archives and they can reproduce it now and so we had it put on a canvas we absolutely love it uh, it shows the idea for the monorail shows uh, the Skyway that is of course being remade now uh, 20,000 leagues under the sea all of that original stuff that ended up in the park some of which didn't end up in the park. Uh, really, really cool. It just felt classic Disney to us. We love the idea of having a map in our house of our favorite place on the planet. And our final piece of artwork that we bought from Disney World was just this last trip, just a month ago. And there was one artist we kept kind of coming back to, and his name was uh, David Buckley. And he was doing a lot of water paint stuff that we just really loved. And one particular piece we kind of fell in love with was uh, this guy here. Uh, yeah, water paint of uh, Mickey and the gang on the Walt Disney World uh, Magic Kingdom, the railway. Um, as you can see on the painting there, Mickey and the gang are all on there, the Fab Five plus Pluto. Uh, you see them going through some of the scenes you see on uh, when you're on the railroad going around uh, Magic Kingdom. We don't know why. We Some of our best memories as a family are going on this ride. Uh, we absolutely love it. It's It was so much fun. So uh, we don't know why, but we fell in love with this. And this is kind of our memory piece when we got home to put in our living room. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I apologize that this isn't one of our regular videos. We will be back with normal content next week. Hopefully some content from the parks now that our external drive is repaired. So uh, if you like this video, you enjoy the content, content that we're making leave us a like hit that little bell that lets you know when new content comes out subscribe and most of all leave a comment this time uh, this time I'd love to know two things first what types of new content would you
would you like to see on this channel? What would you like a review of? What kind of tips do you need when you're heading to the Disney parks? And secondly, what do you collect when you come to Disney World or go to Disneyland or any of the Disney parks? Uh, do you do you like to collect Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards? Do you like what what is your thing? Are you a pin trader? Uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what you collect and what's fun for your family. Uh, if you are looking to book a Disney vacation, consider contacting my wife. She is Jamie at clickthemouse.ca. Free Disney vacation planning. Uh, she does a great job. If you're wanting to go to our website, www.clickthemouse.ca slash Jamie. Thank you for taking the time to listen and we will see you next week. Bye.